Hi, my name is Joe Mercer. I am originally from Long Beach, California. I was raised in New York and Philadelphia. And uh, how you doing? And sometimes I can be a bit of a smart <laughs> Okay. I pride myself on my appearance. I work very hard to, uh, you know, stay as young looking as I can. And recently, I hit a milestone. I actually was carded. This kid asked me for my AARP card. The worst part is going to be when eventually I get the senior discount and I don't get carded for it. They just <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things to do is read, uh, especially in my garden. I love gardening. I love reading. And my favorite author is Janet Ivanovich. I love the Stephanie Plum series. They just make me laugh, and I really value laughter when you're trying to educate yourself. One of the things I've always wanted to do was to attend the classes at Second City in Chicago, and after 20 years of trying to plan it, I finally did it this past summer. I was at Second City for their improv classes and for the sketch writing classes. Uh, the information and the lessons that I learned from that are just invaluable. Brought that back home with me. I auditioned people. I did training with them. Started an improv troupe. We do mostly long form, some short form, but mostly long form. And we already have four bookings. And it's just been an absolutely amazing journey. And I can't wait to see where that takes us. I love to teach, I teach improv, I teach acting, and I am a substitute teacher in the local school district. The kids love me mostly because I'm silly and I help them to laugh while they're learning. And I think that's a really important thing, especially for the kids today. I already talked about humility because I did the, the AARP thing. That's humiliating enough. I love my family. I am so proud of them. My husband and I just celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary, which of course is a milestone achievement, especially in this day and age. And uh, we have two beautiful children. They're 18 and 19 years old. Very early in our marriage, my husband had leukemia and uh, he went through a bone marrow transplant. So we weren't even supposed to be able to have children. So Adam and Alexis have been a true blessing in our lives. The hardest thing I've ever had to do was to tell a friend that um, it was okay to die. When my husband and I were in Baltimore for, the, for his bone marrow transplant, uh, we became very close friends very quickly with uh, a couple, Susan and Bill, and Bill went through his bone marrow transplant, but his implant, his bone marrow, rejected his body. And uh, it's a very slow and painful death. And Sue called me into the hospital room at one point, and she said, talk to Bill. And um, he's lying there on the bed, tubes everywhere. The skin turns red like a brick. The eyes turn yellow. Basically, all of his functions had shut down. And I said to him, it's OK, Bill. You can hang on. And Sue like hissed and yelled at me, no. <laughs> No, tell him it's okay to go. And I stood there at the edge of the bed, this guy that absolutely I had fallen in love with this couple. <laughs> and um, I just said, Bill, it's okay. You can go. Sue's going to be okay without you. And uh, a few hours later, he died. As you can see, that's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. So I'm just going to do a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Yo, Adrian. I love you. We were selling, uh, I was selling a sweater and it had cardinals all over it. And I just went into this Arnold Schwarzenegger and I said, Cardinals are the harbingers of winter. Everything's coming up roses. That was Ethel Merman. <laughs> and uh, I do a pretty good monkey call. <laughs> I do love, I love comedy improv. So it's okay, you know, because you just have so many things that happen in your life and laughter is just one of the healthiest and best ways to just relax and realize that it's all small stuff. Even if it's big, in the big picture it's small.